cutting uh, stringy bark, gum leaves, yeah, gum leaves that they processed into a drug called Rotin for eye operations. I cannot emphasize too much the seasonal and sometimes permanent work on offer in Hillend that kept our economy pumping along. We all had a go at these work offerings. Gum leafing was something you did when you had nothing better to do. Or you could mix it with trapping and other odd jobs. I worked for about three years on and off with Cud Denman leafing. When I first started, it was with knives. Then the usual, the mill boys, showed their creative side. Up the mill, we had a welder then, you see, up the mill and I was just thinking of different ways to, easier ways to, because you could cut it with a knife and then it's on the ground. So I thought I'd make a hoop to put the bag in, which would make it easier to thing. Then I thought if you put a knife on the top of the hoop, it's, everything happens at the same time then, straight into the bag, which worked perfect. <laughs> I, first of all, I went around to the back, I found an old chassis and I clamped an old scythe blade on it. Went down the scrub and got a handful of bushes and brought it up and just give it a test run. All you had to do was whack them on it and if that's it, I'll build one of these things. The loader itself was only just a, it was an old car, chassis off an old car, like an old Essex or something it was, I think. Just cut it up and shaped it and we built the hay rake, like the rake thing on the front, built that SL. The hardest part was um, building a frame on the tractor because it was an old farm hall or something like that and there wasn't many places you could actually c connect to it, you know. <laughs> wasn't made for, for implements, they were just made for towing things. I had a lot of leaf over at the time it was going. Yeah. Probably a truckload a week we was taken away, wouldn't we? 